Many of us are familiar with the sound of snoring. It's that rumbling, sometimes whistling sound that can come from our partner, roommate, or even ourselves during sleep. Snoring is very common. It affects millions of people, both men and women. While some snores are harmless, others can be a sign of an underlying sleep disorder. Snoring happens when the air we breathe flows past relaxed tissues in our throat. This causes the tissues to vibrate, creating the sound we know as snoring. Think of it like blowing air into a balloon and then letting it go slowly. The neck of the balloon vibrates, producing a sound. Snoring can be a sign of a more serious sleep disorder, such as obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a condition where breathing repeatedly stops and starts during sleep. It's important to understand the causes of snoring and its potential impact on our health and well-being. When we fall asleep, the muscles in our body relax, including those in our throat. As the airway narrows, the airflow becomes partially blocked, causing the surrounding tissues to vibrate. This vibration produces the sound of snoring. Several factors can contribute to snoring. These include the anatomy of our mouth and sinuses, nasal congestion, sleep position, alcohol consumption, and obesity. People with narrow airways, a deviated septum, or enlarged tonsils or adenoids are more prone to snoring. Nasal congestion, whether caused by allergies, a cold, or other factors, can also lead to snoring. When we can't breathe easily through our nose, we tend to breathe through our mouths, increasing the likelihood of snoring. Sleeping on our backs can worsen snoring because it allows the tongue to fall back into the throat, further obstructing the airway. Alcohol and sedatives relax the throat muscles, making snoring more likely. While occasional snoring is generally harmless, persistent snoring can be a sign of an underlying sleep disorder, such as obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is characterized by repeated pauses in breathing during sleep, often accompanied by loud snoring or gasping for air. These pauses in breathing can last for several seconds and occur multiple times throughout the night, disrupting sleep and depriving the body of oxygen. If left untreated, sleep apnea can increase the risk of serious health problems, including high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. It's crucial to recognize the signs and symptoms of sleep apnea, which include loud snoring, gasping for air during sleep, excessive daytime sleepiness, morning headaches, difficulty concentrating, and irritability. If you suspect you or your partner may have sleep apnea, it's important to consult a healthcare professional. Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is the most common type of sleep apnea. It occurs when the muscles in the back of the throat relax too much, causing the airway to narrow or close completely during sleep. This blockage disrupts breathing, leading to pauses that can last for 10 seconds or longer. People with OSA often snore loudly and may gasp or choke during sleep. They may also experience excessive daytime sleepiness, morning headaches, and difficulty concentrating. OSA is more common in people who are overweight or obese, have a family history of sleep apnea, or have certain physical characteristics, such as a large neck circumference or a recessed chin. Treating OSA typically involves lifestyle changes, such as losing weight, quitting smoking, and avoiding alcohol and sedatives before bed. In addition, your doctor may recommend a continuous positive airway pressure, or CPAP machine, which delivers a constant stream of air through a mask worn over the nose or mouth to keep the airway open during sleep. Section 5. Insomnia, the elusive night of slumber. Insomnia is a sleep disorder characterized by difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, or both. People with insomnia may wake up feeling tired or unrefreshed, and they may experience daytime fatigue, irritability, difficulty concentrating, and other symptoms. Insomnia can be acute, lasting for a few days or weeks, or chronic, lasting for a month or longer. It can be caused by a variety of factors, including stress, anxiety, depression, medical conditions, medications, and poor sleep habits. Treating insomnia typically involves identifying and addressing the underlying cause. Your doctor may recommend cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, also known as CBTI, 
which helps you identify and change thoughts and behaviors that interfere with sleep. In some cases, medications may be prescribed to help improve sleep. Section 6. Restless Leg Syndrome The Unstoppable Urge to Move Restless Leg Syndrome, or RLS, is a neurological disorder that causes an irresistible urge to move the legs, especially at night. People with RLS often describe the sensation as a creeping, crawling, tingling, or aching feeling in the legs that is relieved by movement. The exact cause of RLS is unknown, but it is believed to be related to an imbalance of dopamine a neurotransmitter that helps regulate muscle movement. RLS can be a primary condition or secondary to other medical conditions, such as iron deficiency, pregnancy, or certain medications. Treating RLS typically involves identifying and addressing any underlying medical conditions. Your doctor may also recommend lifestyle changes, such as regular exercise, avoiding caffeine and alcohol before bed, and maintaining a regular sleep schedule. Medications may be prescribed to help reduce symptoms. Section 7. Narcolepsy, Falling Asleep at Unexpected Times Narcolepsy is a chronic neurological disorder that affects the brain's ability to control sleep-wake cycles. People with narcolepsy experience excessive daytime sleepiness and may fall asleep suddenly and uncontrollably, even during activities such as driving, working, or eating. Narcolepsy is believed to be caused by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. It is often associated with a deficiency of hypocretin, a neurotransmitter that helps regulate wakefulness. There is no cure for narcolepsy, but medications can help manage symptoms. Stimulants can help reduce daytime sleepiness, while antidepressants can help control cataplexy, a sudden loss of muscle tone that can occur with narcolepsy. Section 8. The Impact of Sleep Disorders on Health Sleep disorders can have a significant impact on our physical and mental health. Chronic sleep deprivation can weaken the immune system, increasing the risk of infections. It can also lead to weight gain, high blood pressure, heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. Sleep disorders can also affect our mood, concentration, and memory. People with sleep disorders may experience irritability, anxiety, depression, and difficulty focusing. They may also be at an increased risk of accidents and injuries. Section 9. Seeking Help for Sleep Issues If you suspect you may have a sleep disorder, it's important to talk to your doctor. They can ask about your symptoms, medical history, and sleep habits to help determine the underlying cause of your sleep problems. Your doctor may recommend a sleep study, which is a test that monitors your brain waves, heart rate, breathing, and other bodily functions while you sleep. This information can help them diagnose and treat sleep disorders. Section 10. Tips for a better night's sleep. While some sleep disorders require medical attention, there are many things you can do on your own to improve your sleep hygiene and promote better sleep. Establish a regular sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up around the same time each day, even on weekends, to regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Create a relaxing bedtime routine. Wind down an hour or two before bed by taking a warm bath, reading a book, or listening to calming music. Make sure your bedroom is dark, quiet, and cool. Use blackout curtains, earplugs, or a white noise machine to minimize distractions. Avoid caffeine and alcohol before bed. These substances can interfere with sleep. Get regular exercise. Physical activity can improve sleep quality, but avoid exercising too close to bedtime. See a doctor if you suspect a sleep disorder. Don't ignore chronic sleep problems. Section 11, Conclusion. Making sleep a priority. Sleep is essential for our physical and mental health. Understanding the causes and consequences of snoring and sleep disorders is crucial for maintaining our overall well-being. By prioritizing sleep, practicing good sleep hygiene, and seeking professional help when needed, we can improve our sleep quality and enjoy the many benefits of a restful night.